everyone welcome back to a new video and i'm going to be showing you a brand new collection today which i am so excited about but first i'm going to show you this brand spanking new lamp i got from adam glam it is beautiful so it's got like all right okay i just want to show you this 15 30 60 and 90 low heat setting which i think is brilliant i think the more settings on the lamp the better in my opinion um well maybe not too many but i think 15 30 60 and the low heat 90 seconds is perfect it's a 48 watt lamp um it's got a removable base it's got um it's got sensors so it starts when you put your hands in it's got an led little display really 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 good i've been using it to swatch these colors um i was going to do a design with the colors today but i just haven't had a chance but my little kitty winks go back to school on wednesday so normal normal stuffs will resume um so inside the box you'll get a lamp the not a lamp of course you'll get a lamp you'll get a plug an adapter so this has got the this is a, an american um i needed a, a plug adapter basically which i do have which is good um you also get the lamp inside and then at the very bottom is the base and some instructions always helpful though to be fair these led lamps are pretty straightforward so it's just got the usual stuff inside i'm not gonna you know not gonna show you it really because it's i think they're pretty self-explanatory once you've used one they're kind of pretty much all the same or so far so this is the base i wanted to show you the bottom don't know why i just thought i'd show you this it's got its model and its voltage just in case you want to know that i filmed this a little while ago as well i've been sitting on these for so long and oh my gosh they're amazing Jolly is i can't upload this before madam glam does the launch because it's not fair um so mm, look at the pattern on the lamp this lamp by the way is already on their website um they just kindly sent me this and i'm so pleased they did because i absolutely love it how fun is this lamp if i was a lamp i think i'd be this one um, so this is the, can you see all the all the lights in there as well? And the lights, can you see the lights go all the way up the side as well? So it's good for when you put your thumb in because your thumb's the furthest out of the lamp. So because it's got those lights on the side, you get your thumb geared as well. Which you don't have to like do your thumb separately, which seems quite good. So when you put your, you've got plenty of room in there for your hand. It is a little bit shallower than some of my other lamps that I've used. But to be honest, it does not bother me at all in the slightest. Um it's got yeah so i was trying to work out where the led where the led number you know where the led display would be and i wasn't sure so i was like right i know i'm gonna plug in so i swapped um some plugs around because i was already using my adapter but i uh, i found yeah i managed to sort it out so i'm gonna put this in here if i could get it in i don't know why i struggled so just push it in not that you'll have this i don't know if you have this same adapter then i will be surprised not well no i won't oh, anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> so this goes into the very back of the lamp and there is the led display by the way it doesn't flash in real life um i was having a look to see if it flashed it's just i think it's just because of the camera so if you push the button twice i just it's quite sensitive so if you touch 60 it'll do 60 if you touch 30 it'll do 30 if you touch 90 it'll do 90 if you push this button twice it will set the light uh, the lamp off or if you put your hand in it, it will automatically go for the amount of seconds that's on the top there. So anyway, I love this lamp. I've really enjoyed using it for the last couple of weeks and I will continue to use it. It's going to sit on my desk. I'm going to show you actually. Look, it's going to go next to my Melody Susie e-file. These are like my two favourite things at the moment. Mm, I love them. So on to the new collection. When I got it, I knew it was a metallic collection and I was like oh brilliant and I wasn't sure initially what it was going to be like because I know Nao have got a metallic collection and they have to air dry and I was thinking oh I wonder if this is going to be the same but it's not mm. so for the this for this collection you'll need the metallic base coat which is it's just a clear base coat but you're going to need this one and then over that you will put a coat of this silver metallic it's a metallic silver base basically now what happens is when you put this over the base coat you'll get this amazing mirror effect and then you'll pick whichever color you want to go over the top of that so these colors are like jelly colors they're all translucent 
See? Because when I first saw one, I was like, how is that even metallic? <laughs> and then I didn't realise until after I'd, I'd emailed um, the lady who I deal with at Mad and Glam, who I have to say is absolutely lovely. Um, she kind of explained it and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And oh my God, I tell you what, this is going to be... Oh, I just can't wait to get... Oh, I just can't wait. When the kids are going back to school, I am going to be doing loads of designs with these because I love them. So, the first one... Um, so, right, we're going to put the silver... No, we're not. We're putting the base coat on, the metallic base coat on, right? While that's curing in the lamp, it cures for 30 seconds. This is the silver base. It's literally like liquid mercury. It's amazing. I, you couldn't really see there, so I tried to change my camera angle, but I was trying to hold one i was trying to hold my phone in my hand and then the bottle top in the, in my other hand and it was really difficult to see how far away i was from the bottle because <laughs> i was looking through the phone all right so now it's cured you're gonna need to i kind of like floated this over i found that if you went in too vigorously you'd be left with streaks but if you go over the top quite gently and then you leave it for about 15 to 30 seconds. And can you see it starts to get this, this mirror. It's just, oh my God, it's just like, it's just like looking at like shiny stainless steel or something, or isn't it amazing? Oh, so you pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Then you pick your color you want. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is hold my wine. And as you can see from the front, you get an idea of what the color is gonna be from the label. And as per usual, you also have the swatch on the top. I couldn't really show you how translucent this one was. This is one of the darker ones, but honestly, this one is one of my favorites. So once that silver base has cured, you literally go over the top of this with your color. And then you're left with this amazing, metallic -y color this is going to be amazing for autumn so there's a few colors in here that are going to be such good autumn colors um if you don't want to buy right also you don't have to use these colors as metallic colors isn't that gorgeous <gasps> cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds um you can use these as jelly colors as well so this is almost like you're getting a two for one collection so you're getting like two colors for the price of one which is what a two for one is natalie they know this sorry i just get i'm super excited about this collection oh and also there we go so for all these nails i'm using madame glam's non-white top coat and i'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds and i forgot to show you it in in a in a jelly color on a on a clear swatch on its own um, but I'll show you them all at the end. So I also love the names. This one's called Girl Boss. This is a blue one. So I I was a little bit hit and miss with the silver base. I struggled a little bit sometimes to get the nice mirrored bottom. But as I the more I done, the better I got. <laughs> so this is the blue Girl Boss. I love this colour as well. Oh, and this is it as a jelly. So again, this is one of the darker ones, but you can see through it. And I've also applied two coats to these. Obviously, if you want it slightly more transparent, you'd only need one coat. Um, this next one is called Iron Lady. Again, this is one of my favorites because I do love a purple. And my gosh, is this purple amazing. Oh, I love it. If you do want to buy these, by the way, I have a 30% discount code, which is NATMUG30 in lowercase letters isn't that amazing i'll leave the link to their website as well in the description box below so this is both of them again this is quite a dark one but you can see through it still again i've used two coats on that jelly nail the next one is ruby red this is oh my gosh this red this red i can't tell you it's beautiful this is going to be really good for christmas as well um, what I was going to say was, if you don't want to buy the silver base, um, you can use like a, a chrome, a silver chrome, uh, like a mirror chrome, and then work obviously on the top of that. But this next one is called Pink Pearls, and it's such a cute colour. Um, having the mirror, the sorry, having the silver base does make your life a lot easier. I think it's a lot. I don't know. I think it's probably easier to use the silver base. Um, isn't that such a cute colour? And then this is the, this is it as a, a jelly nail, like two coats of pink pearls. 
and then those are those those are those together those are them really pretty pink that one and um, the next one is called tin green this is quite a subtle green i quite like it i do i do like me a green so this is it over the silver base so this is it as a i didn't do very well with my silver base on this one <clears throat> it was quite streaky i definitely think you need it looks like look, doesn't that look like a bottle green i've got a really good idea in my head for this one knowing me i'll forget though because i don't know that i can uh, it'll be yeah i've got an idea in my head say no more the next one is called starfire this one i think is going to be a good one for autumn it's this really nice metallic -y brown And don't forget, you can also use the silver base as a colour on its own. So I do show you later on, well, it's more at the end of the video, I do show you the just the silver base top coated. So again, this is quite a dark one and you can't really see through the nail very well. But again, I use two coats. So this one is, oh snap, this one, I love this one. Oh, this Isn't this the most gorgeous blue? It's like a turquoise. Is it like a turquoise? I don't know, but I love this one. So nice. There we go. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So these are them, can you see? This This is me get, finally getting the hang of the, the silver base. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. So there we go, that one was all snap. I love them so much. I literally, I'm buzzing about this collection. <laughs> the next one is called a pay up. This is a really nice green. This is more of a, it's more of a, would you say it was a brighter green than tin green? Tin green's more of a jadey green. This is more of a emerald green, I'd say. I like this one though. There we go. So those are the, those are the next to each other. And then we've got breathing fire. This is quite similar to, um, Oh, I've forgotten the name of that other red, but this is more this is more on the brighter side. My memory is so appalling. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Again, this is gonna be great for Christmas. Look at those. The the metallic ones also almost look like neony. Like not neony, like that like they're almost I don't know, I can't explain it. <laughs> then this one is called Pink Machine. I think this is my favourite pink. This definitely reminds me of almost like a pink neon, you know, the neon bar signs. Do you know what I mean? Can you see, can you see it as well? I love it. And then obviously the jelly color, just, oh, just, I'm loving these. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. I do though, seriously. Uh, the next one is called Crown. This is probably my least favorite, maybe. Um, as, no, I don't know. Actually, as a metallic colour, it's probably my least favourite. But as a jelly colour, really like it. Although, actually, when you look at it there, it's really nice. That would make a really awesome amber nail. I'm thinking Jurassic Park style. Look at those. And then, I think this is the last one. Day Off. This is a gorgeous colour, this one isn't that nice that's kind of an in-between purple or pink this one is up there with my favorites this will be lovely for autumn look at that let me know in the comments which is your favorite color though to be fair I don't think I could choose there we go so those are them together again the jelly nail would be lighter if i hadn't have used two coats but i wanted to use two coats but you don't have to and then that is the silver on its own just top coated so i'm going to show you them all together here they are i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please leave me a like don't forget you can get 30 percent off madame glam using code natmuck 30. i would literally have to get all of these because oh, this is just amazing anyway thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe otherwise you will tread in dog poo later on today 
maybe i don't know anyway thanks for watching guys have an amazing rest of the weekend not much left of it now but have an amazing weekend and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow bye